Hi everyone, this is Peter here. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I spent a few hours at a nature reserve that I had not been to for a couple of years, shooting water birds, but I was primarily focusing on capturing footage of different species, so I decided not to vlog. I still managed to grab a few stills that I was happy with and I wanted to share with you in this video. I took all of the images with my usual Canon R7 and EF 100 to 400 mm telephoto zoom combo. And if you'd like to know how I customize my Canon R7 for wildlife photography and bird photography in in particular, then you should also check out this tutorial. You'll find the link in the description. All right, let's have a look at the images now. In this first series, I'll show you several shots I captured of white-faced herons. I really like the simplicity of these first three frames with a lot of negative space and minimalistic composition. It was amazing to observe how this heron was preening itself. The last few portraits were of another specimen that was perched on a tree stump much closer to me and seemed to be pretty relaxed and in these you can see much more intricate detail, for example in its plumage. I took heaps of footage of what I believe was an eastern cattle egret in non-breeding plumage. It was printing itself as well. I only got one shot though, as it was quite far, and once again the framing is very minimalistic with a lot of negative space, and also decided to underexpose it quite a bit to retain detail in the highlights and for maximum contrast. The next two portraits are of a rather large sulfur crested cockatoo that decided to pose for me for a few moments before flying off. The next four images are of a beautiful little pied cormorant that had been fishing and was drying its wings afterwards. Their feathers are not water resistant and become waterlogged, which helps them dive more efficiently. I can't believe how flexible their neck is, which you can see in these shots, was quite a contortionist. I was really happy that I finally managed to take some decent shots of a beautiful hoary-headed grape that decided to swim close to the shore and I was amazed by the interesting patterns of its iris which looked fascinating. In the following series I captured two different little black cormorants that were collecting materials for their nest they seem to be very busy flying back and forth, carrying small leaved twigs and aquatic vegetation. I was really happy with some of the images in this last sequence, where you can see its beautiful emerald green eye and gorgeous patterns on its wings. I also wanted to quickly show you two images of a red rum parrot. I wish it had been a little bit closer and looking towards me, but hopefully next time I'll be more successful and will manage to grab a few detailed portraits. In these last few shots, you can see a rather large species called the Australasian data. These are also called snake birds because of their extremely long neck. These first two shots are of juveniles that kept begging for food in their nest and their parents were pretty busy making sure that they wouldn't go hungry. Here you can see a beautiful, fully matured adult in flight. Anyway, these were all the shots. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the footage I captured as well. I think you'll enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and catch you in the next one.